Listen 6 minutes comment on the story leave a comment share a gift article a former Arizona Cardinals manager has accused the team owner, Michael Bidwill, illegal and retaliatory maltreatment of attempting to cheat on the terms of general manager suspension. Choose your plan arrow right in an arbitration request submitted to NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell after Terry McDonough, former Cardinals coach Steve Wilkes refused to participate in a plan, bid will cursed, scolded, and formally scolded eventually demoted him. He claimed, it was designed by Bidwill to use disposable phones to communicate with Steve Kine, after which he was suspended as the team's GM during training camp in 2018. Bidwill's abusive behavior is exactly type behavior U.S. House of Representatives Oversight and Reform Committee was aiming for when Congress notified NFL that it would no longer tolerate the cover-up workplace misconduct in National Football League, he said. A copy of the 29-page McDonough file was received by the Washington Post on Tuesday. The Cardinals denied the accusations. We are compelled to provide a public response with broader context for some of the disappointing and irresponsible actions of Terry McDonough, the team said in a statement by outside public relations consultant Jim McCarthy. The allegations made in an arbitration application are utterly false, reckless, and an opportunistic ploy for financial gain. McDonough's file said he sought unspecified compensation. The NFL added through a spokesperson it could confirm that the claim has been received, and the league will be dealt with under its arbitration procedures. According to file, McDonough, son of late famed sports writer Will McDonough, spent 34 years in NFL for San Francisco 49ers, Cleveland Browns, Baltimore Ravens, Jacksonville Jaguars, and Cardinals. In McCarthy's statement, Cardinals stated they notified McDonough, a few weeks ago, his contract would not be renewed, assured we will meet the compensation terms for remaining year of contract, and also support any effort to continue his career elsewhere. The team said in December that Kime took medical leave, and then announced in January that he had decided to leave his post to focus on his health. The Cardinals fired coach Cliff Kingsbury the same day. They then hired Monty Ossenford as their GM and Jonathan Gannon as their coach. The Cardinals fined and suspended Kime in 2018 after pleading guilty to drunk driving. Wilkes cited this development when he joined the racial discrimination lawsuit against the NFL and teams last year by former Miami Dolphins coach Brian Flores. The lawsuit alleged that Wilkes was a bridge coach who was not given a meaningful opportunity to succeed. The lawsuit said the Cardinals sacking Wilkes is in stark contrast to their holding of Kime. Wilkes was fired after just one season, the Cardinals won 3-13 under him in 2018. U.S. District Judge Valerie Caproni ruled last month that Flores claims Dolphins, Wilkes is against Cardinals, and Ray Horton's Tennessee Titans must be brought to arbitration under Goodall's jurisdiction under terms of their employment contract. However, Caproni decided that Flores could sue his claims against the Denver Broncos, New York Giants, and Houston Texans in federal court, as well as related claims against the NFL. According to McDonough's arbitration filing, a Cardinals employee distributed disposable phones in line with Bidwill and Steve Kine over a three-day period in July 2018. User phones would be used to communicate with Kine during his suspension, the filing said. McDonough still has the disposable phone. When expressed his concerns to Bidwill practice site at the training camp, filing said Bidwill stopped from speaking and started shouting loudly him, accusing of disobedience and telling that he didn't like her attitude. Previous month, the alleged dispute between McDonough and Steve Kine. The filing states that Bidwill's abuse McDonough continues continues to this day, and consistent with a pattern of workplace abuse that has become the hallmark Bidwill running the widespread legendary Cardinals franchise. The request for arbitration said McDonough was aware of one instance where Bidwill racially abused and scolded a young African-American employee, and was aware of two separate instances where Bidwill ultimately brought two pregnant employees to tears from harassment and bullying mistreatment. 
an institutional review of organization conducted by an outside consulting firm in 2019 included employee responses criticizing the cardinal's pathetic culture and placing most of blame on bidwill but never completed at bidwill's direction claims Bidwill's rampant workplace misconduct is significantly worse than inappropriate behavior of former Crosstown Phoenix Suns owner Robert Sava, who was fined and suspended by the NBA and agreed to sell his franchise last year, Filing said. The Cardinals said that, without mentioning Kaim in McCarthy's statement, another team manager interfered with protocol of the suspension by taking cell phones to communicate during suspension period. According to the team, Bidwill acted quickly when he learned of this situation and ordered that the phones be taken back and communication stopped. Mr. Bidwill's casual interaction with a group of free agents during an audition a few years ago was horribly distorted in Terry's account to imply some form of racial hatred, the team said. In McCarthy's statement, Cardinal said the 2019 employee survey was not overlooked but actually laid groundwork for significant improvements in our workplace practices. McDonough's attorney, Michael W. Caspino, said in a phone call regarding the team's statement, it is truly disappointing that an NFL owner has responded in such a dishonest and sarcastic manner. We are so confident and the truth will come out in arbitration.